G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I got my dad on the phone here and he can hear some behind the scenes, I guess, of filming a video. So, we daily vlog around here and what happens in daily vlogging is sometimes we're doing things that aren't fish related and today is very far from fish related. Uh, gotta get me dog out, he's trying to dig up. This is the grave site for the fish. Get out, oi, get out. He's trying to dig up the dead fish. Um, that, that's where I buried the Buccochromus the other day. I am worried about the new chickens digging up the Buccochromus, by the way, but if they do, I guess it's chickens. What can you do? Um, so I'm going to start building a chook pen. I don't know how far we're going to get because you can see the sun's going over, but it's way too hot to work during the day. So um, I did a tip run this morning um, and cleaned this whole area out. I filled a whole trailer up um, and now, and then I went to work and got some pallets and then I called it a day at like 10.30 because it was too hot. But I'll show you what I've done. Alright guys, so I've, I've broken up a bunch of pallets. Um, there's an art to pulling pallets apart without snapping them up, i.e. like this. Um, I was using the back edge of a block splitter. I don't have a um, gimpy or a sledgehammer, so that's what we that's what I used. Um, there's a sheet of tin on this fence, and I've got no idea why I put it there. Um, it's tech screwed to the fence. It was definitely me because this is the old patio. This sheet is off the old patio. I don't know if maybe I put it in a YouTube video. If it was in a YouTube video, comment below why I put it here. Um, but we're going to take this off. I want to attach this chook pen to this fence, but I haven't figured out or decided how to without con going to the neighbours and putting a fixing through the fence. But. My dad is on the phone and he is pretty nifty with that sort of thing. Maybe he's got an idea. But, oh, so there's a reason I want to tie it to the fence. The fence is actually falling over. So it'd be nice to have some counterweight pulling the fence back. Uh, Dad's laughing on the phone. Uh, I don't know what I put this tin here for. But this tin will come in handy because it will be the roof for the ch chicken coop. Alright guys. <laughs> so the sheet of tin is off, my dad's on the other, on the other line saying um, he just built a chicken coop as well. So funny story, I got the eggs for the chickens and that encouraged my stepmom to want chickens again. So then they got chickens but their chickens are already hatched and laying and mine are still babies. So my idea turned into their idea and then they beat me to getting eggs. Um, but the point was his hutch is that he just said his hutch is pulling his fence back to the correct way as well. Um, so uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I was thinking if I can get a if I can put a timber there and get a fixing through that way, um, I'll have like the bit more strength. Um, I can try get a fixing over here oh maybe i'll try and skew a screw through this fence post into that that would pull it back a bit um i don't want the hutch to go as far back as that post there so we can't attach to that post the other problem we're going to have here is they're going to be able to dig under there I, I had an issue down there but you can see i put a piece of steel down there um but so, so the idea here is I'm going to build a floor there and, and there. And I think I'm going to build the floor with some legs and then I'll build the walls up from the floor. And then, and then I might follow that angle with the tin roof, do a flat tin roof. The only thing is I don't know how to stop the water getting down the back of that tin there either. Unless I, I've got some... I've got some hardy flex there. Uh, Dad's saying notch the 
notch the tin. Yeah, yeah, but the the fence is like the ribbed color bond. So it'd be a bit of a mission. The only so there's two options. I can either try and cut around it and do like a flange going up, but the easier option is to probably put a false back in the chicken coop so that way the water runs down behind the false back. I think that might be the go. I don't know how I'm going to pull the fence back over. Maybe I won't attack it, attach it to the fence. I think maybe you should fix the fence properly. I need to go around and talk to the neighbours anyway. I've actually got um, some quick quick set um, concrete or cement. I can't remember which one. The quick set to um, fix this fence. I've just got to go speak to the neighbour. That one there is the worst. Can you see that? That's leaning very, very far. Um, but yeah, so I've had a bit of a dig around. I can just dig my side of the fence and it looks like they've used like half a bag of quick set to um, put each post of the fence up. So it's completely um, human error as to why the fence is falling over. To, to be fair, it was put up at least five years ago. It was before I bought the place. But um, yeah, just a shit job really. Even like, so, yeah. I don't like talking about other people's workmanship because I just don't feel it lives up to my expectations. Um, but yeah, whoever built the wall, whoever built the fence, shit job. Hopefully they're watching and they feel bad. Alright, so we, we've got to build a floor here. There's limestone there. Um, I was cleaning up as a fish keeper. I couldn't bring myself to throw limestone and coral in the bin, but... If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Alright guys, where do I leave off with the video? I went and got the tripod so I just could do some live action. And I didn't do any live action. Um, I just got carried away working. So, um, I screwed a piece onto the fence there. And it's sitting on there. And it's reasonably level. I even got my level out of the car. That's how professional this chook pen is. Um, that piece there is not level. Uh, the reason being is I've only got 330 millimeters between here and um, I need to cut that out because that's where the laying box is going. Um, originally I was going to do an L shape, come around this corner and go across there, but I've started and I realized that that's way overcompensating for a couple of chickens. Um, they don't need that much room. so. Uh, I think I'm just going to do a rectangle box there, but I might make it a little bit deeper than I was originally going to. Um, I only plan on keeping five chickens out of the 12, so um, we don't need to be going the chicken ch coop as big as a cat run down the back of the fence. Um, so I, I checked these out. I really should have got a tape measure out, guys, but I, <laughs> I did it by eye. Um, but that's all right, it works. Uh, this one here, I might actually check a little bit more out of that because um, this fence is leaning over and like I said, if I ever repair the fence, I don't want it, I don't want this timber to be in the way. Um, now I've got to try and get this timber out, but she's, uh, she's in there real good. I don't want to break the timber, I can hear it crack a -lack in. Uh, where? Hammer is a bad idea. Wait, we got a. All right, I'm gonna trim a bit of that, and then I'll screw that off. And then the next piece I've already cut, but we have to modify that. But that's the next clip. All right, guys, it wouldn't be a DIY project without a bit of a mistake. Um, it's not a huge one. It'd take me 10 minutes to fix it. But I had put this timber here like that, and I had this the base starting to go like that. But if you look. That, that base is there, and if if I can open the gate, oh, I also need to shim this a bit. This is this is banging on here. I'll fix that while we're here. Um, so if oh, I needed to show you the gate. So see, we've only got like 15 mil there. That's not enough for me to add the side panels down here. So I need to cut 20 millimeters off this. That one there. Um, I can just cut 20 mil off that end and I can move that piece back. Um, 
I'm spewing because I could have had an extra bit of fixing there but honestly that doesn't matter um, it's only a chook hutch that, that, that bit of to getting an extra fixing that way isn't going to affect anything the only shit thing is now I'm going to try to get this timber off again ah, I'm using a mixture of screws I've got some normal zinc not zinc a gavin oh no what are they uh, I can't remember what's this plain silver ones called I can't remember uh, I've got some proper pine screws there but we'll just use a mix of both and we'll see which one outperforms that's not hard to figure out guys is that we know which one's going to outperform um i've used these timber screws in the fish room before and they've lasted many many moons all right i'll go cut that all right guys so i'm just screwing off planks cutting them to length and screwing them off here i've still got to put a leg in here but i'll probably notch this and i've got to cut this piece here to length yet um hopefully you guys can hear me okay so just an update on the microphone it only arrived at road yesterday so express post from western australia to new south wales 14 days for anybody who's thinking about um getting a shipment for christmas it's not going to happen all right so um I can't decide whether to make it a rectangle or an L-shaped coop. I'm leaning more towards L-shape. I don't know. I'm so torn. I might put a tick top up and see what people comment. Alright guys, so we're going to cut this here a bit larger. Once again, just by eye. I don't suggest cutting it by eye if you're not a daily user of um, hand tools. Just banging the nails in because it's chook pen life. All right, so the thing here is that's not level that way. So I need to screw this piece on. But I'm thinking if I get this about level and then butt that in and it might be set back a little bit and we should be able to get this leg nice and straight presuming that that steel post is straight but I don't like to presume shit because it was me that did it uh, post is not quite level alright so I don't think I'm going to make this level I'll probably just make it match that one so I might even put this on and then later on dig a hole and put a brick underneath it. I think that'll be the go. Um, so I'm not actually screwing the leg right now. I'm screwing the plank behind the leg in position. It's just a, it's like two millimeters back from that edge. So when we screw off to it, it should pull that leg pretty close to level. Sorry if you don't really know what I mean by that. Oh, and um, the boss came down and she's requested the L shape. So we are doing the L shape. And my plan was to get this video finished by the time we call it a night. Um, so we've got a lot of work. I mean, get the floor finished by the time we call it a night. So. I've got a lot of work ahead of myself here, um, but that's all right. We'll see if we can get the floor done. It's honestly not taking that long. I had to stop because I got a massive splinter just before. Uh, this screw is not going to grab much, but we'll just send, send it and see what happens. There we go. That grabbed plenty, sent it in nice and deep. When in doubt, drive it out. That's just something I made up then, but seemed to work. Um, all 
I really taken the chook pen mentality, guys. Like, um, we're not even pre-drilling this shit. I would suggest pre-drilling if you're making stuff. Um, this pallet pine is so soft. It honestly doesn't really need it. I guess, I don't know, if you're a chippy, comment on this video if you would pre-drill it or not. As a cabinet maker, I pre-drill everything, but I don't know if chip chippies actually do pre-drill all that much. Alright guys, so I'm totally winging it. This is kind of like Picasso meets cabinet maker meets carpentry. Um, so I need to go across that way. So I just screwed a board off to the bottom of those panels that runs through there underneath. And I, I, I eyed that up. If anything, that bottom piece is a little bit short. It needs to come out that way. Um, so now uh, I might make a skew if panel there to bring that in more square. That rhymes. I don't have a roofing square. I don't even think I've got my sliding square. I think one of the guys at work stole it. So I'm probably just going to eye up the squareness. Um, it is what it is. Let's get that first piece made. I'll probably just make it and then show you and you guys will understand. All right, so we're going to we're going to measure for squareness. Screw it, let's do it properly. So we use the 345 method. So I mark 300 there. Mark 400 there, and then 500. Uh, that's not going to work because we're hitting that back bit there. Alright, so that's about square there anyway. I had to move that forward 10 mil. So, 3 one way, 4 the other way, 5 the other way. I'm sure a lot of you know that. And then our measure, these boards are 90 mil, so 90 mil is there. So I pretty much got to cut this from that point to zero. And there's going to be a tiny little gap at the back. I'll probably just leave, leave the gap at the back, I reckon. Alright guys, just cutting some timber. I need 10 of these, so get into it. I need to knock these nails out. But I just wanted to give a shout out to Chumbies. Um, Moist, if you're watching this video, tell Chumbies I give him a shout out. Chumbies gave me this drop saw and it had no blade in it. I put a blade in it. I did my 70 square meters of decking. I built my fish room. I built every timber rack in my fish room. And I've built fences. I've built all sorts of shit with this crappy old thing. Um, I was telling my dad that I actually notched it out and I'll show you what I mean. Um, you can see the frame here. I actually notched the frame so I could cut 45 by 90s even though this drop saw is not made for that. And then I also got the grinder and I grinded out this bit here and in there um, so the blade could go lower and then I grinded down the stop on the saw. <laughs> So this actually cuts 90 by 45s, which it's really not meant to. I think it even cuts, um, I think they're 140s by 20s, the decking, the Merbau timber I used on my deck. Um, it's either 120 or 140. Um, this thing is an absolute trooper. And the best thing about it is it's the basic model that doesn't have all the angles and shit on it. And it cuts squarer than the more expensive ones we've got at work, <laughs> um, which is crazy. But um, yeah, I actually love this drop, so I'll be sad if it breaks one day. All right, now we can start putting timbers south, south, southeast. This direction is south. Um, so I made them kind of into the fence, which means I've got to notch the backs. I don't know what you guys can see. Can you guys see me working there? Yeah, good enough. Um, Uh, wife's not filming today guys, I think. Unfortunately, little, little Coops is a bit sick. I think he's got gastro, maybe. So, she's in there looking after him pretty, pretty full time. Uh, 
pretty stressful first time mother, first time baby getting sick. So I'm just trying to be as supportive as I can. Make chicken coops and cook dinner. That's my goal for the day. Alright, so you get the idea there. We're just going to start screwing those off. I didn't check again for square, but it doesn't really matter. We got it close. Um, it's only for visual appearance. It doesn't matter if nothing's square. I'm pretty much going to be like scribing in all the timbers and everything. Um, I'm going to run out of timber. I know that's for sure. I haven't got half as much as I need. Lucky all my tools have got lights on them, hey guys. I'd much rather work in the dark than in the heat. Um, so I notched that one there just so I can put a leg in there and the legs recessed in. So that way when we clad the front, we're not cladding around or in between anything. We can just send the cladding. Um, pretty easily. So basically what I did, I put that timber on there um, without screws and I marked the ends and then I took that timber off and I cut the two, let be, two bits there to length and then um, what's the, yeah so then and then my lengths were all good because I you can't cut that after I screw that piece down with a jigsaw it, it won't get in there the screws can just live under there tools can come inside that piece of wood's falling on me that's a wrap for the day I reckon Alright guys, all the tools have been packed up with some haste because I've already started getting eaten by mosquitoes. Um, the joys of living near lakes I guess. Um, so there we go, that's the finished product. Alright guys, the mosquitoes came out in force then and the camera went flat. So um, hopefully you got a bit of a glimpse of the base there before the battery died. Um, I, man, I hate mosquito bites, absolutely hate them. Um, I can, only, I can feel three right now, but um, I, I'm going to wrap that one up there. Um, let me know if you want me to continue a series of the chook pen build. Um, I guess this video is on Christmas Day, maybe. If this is on Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. If it's on Boxing Day, Merry Christmas and Merry Boxing Day. Um, but I'll see you guys. To, uh, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, smash that little red button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.